everyone. Hello, boys and girls. Miss Amanda here, joining us for day four of spring and gardening. On the first day, we learned about what? You're right, the seeds. On the second day, we learned about the roots. On the third day, what did we do yesterday? You're right, we went on a leaf, a leaf hunt, and the leaves help the flowers grow. Today, we're talking about the flowers, which are the most prettiest part of the flower, don't we think? Let's continue reading our simple science story. <clears throat> plants need flowers. Flowers make seeds and fruits for plants. Flowers come in many colors, shapes, and sizes. What color do we have here? Yellow. You're right. Flower buds grow from the stem of a plant. The buds open up and the flower blooms. So when our flower starts to grow, it'll start off as a little bud. And then as it gets sun and it grows, it opens up. Unlike our four o'clock seeds that we talked about, yeah, they come out during the evening time. Flowers have pollen inside. Pollen helps the flowers grow and make the seeds. Now who helps spread the pollen? You're right, the bees. They drink the nectar out of there. You're right. Parts of flowers turn into fruits. Seeds grow inside the fruits. New plants grow for new seeds. So like the pumpkin, right, it had a flower and then it grew into a pumpkin. All kinds of flowers. Colorful flower petals uh, attract birds. The birds spin, sip, they go, like we sip on a straw, inside of the flower. So it helps the birds get something to drink. Roses have soft petals that smell good. Roses grow on bushes. Has anyone ever seen roses before? Yeah? My mom plants them outside of her house. They're all pretty colors. They're red, they're orange, they're white. Some of them are yellow. Flowers, we eat. We eat some flowers. Cauliflower is a white flower we eat. We can eat it raw or we can eat it cooked. So has anybody had cauliflower before? It kind of looks like white broccoli, doesn't it? So did anybody know it was a flower? I didn't. <clears throat> Artichokes are flower buds. They make good dips and sauces. Anybody heard of artichokes? That's kind of a weird word. Can y'all say that with me? Artichokes. <gasps> Wonderful flowers, pretty or plain, large or small flowers help make plants and seeds grow. Look at the wild flower garden. Maybe those are our four o'clock flowers, we'll see. We read a story about flowers. Now I think it's time for us to plant a pretty flower, don't you? All right, so the first step is we have to have something to plant our flower in, right? Right, so we're gonna plant it in a flower pot. Now, what do flowers need to grow? You're right, the dirt or the soil. So we've got our dirt again, and we're just gonna put a little bitty bit in the bottom. Not a whole lot. So I'm gonna reach in here. I'm gonna get me a good scoop of dirt, and I'm gonna put it in my flower pot. I think I'm gonna do one more because I want my flower to come out and grow. And then we have our flower here. You're right, that looks like something that you got. And remember, it's got the roots growing, so we've gotta be very careful when we pull it out. So we're gonna take it out of here. And this is dirty, so that's why we're outside on this beautiful day to help grow. So we're gonna kind of reach the dirt, pull it out. You might need to have mommies and daddies help you with this. We're gonna pull it out. Look at all of those pretty roots that are growing. 
So we're gonna make sure that we stick the roots. I'm gonna make a hole down here. Make sure I stick the roots in my flower pot. Now for it to stay, I need what? I need more dirt around it. So I'm gonna get my dirt. I'm gonna pack it in there around my flower. But I've gotta be really careful because I don't wanna hurt it, do I? Nope. And we're planting our flower. We're gonna cover those roots so it can grow nice and pretty in this pot. And then when it gets really big, we can go plant it in our garden. All right, and I'm gonna kind of pack the dirt around here so it'll stay nice and pretty. Take some of this extra dirt and put it on here. I'm get one more little scoop because I need a little bit of dirt right here. Make sure that's nice and sturdy. And there we go, I have my pretty flower. And I'm gonna stick this in here so it'll tell me what flower it is. Well, I'll have to get scissors and cut it off. So what's one more thing that our flower needs to grow now that we put it in dirt? Right, the water. So we're gonna, we don't wanna put the water, we wanna put a little bit of water up here on the plant so it can grow. But remember, where does the water come from? The roots, so we wanna get really close around here. So I've got my watering can, so I'm gonna put it all around my pot, but we don't wanna give it too much because then it would get too over flooded. There we go. And to help the water from going everywhere, I'm gonna take my, pot that I have, I'm going to put it in the tray. Now, now that my flower is planted, where does it need to go? You're right, in the sun. So I'm going to put it over here with my tomato plant in our garden that we have growing. It'll need a good friend, doesn't it? There we go, plant. Boys and girls, I know Miss Amanda came to see you and gave you these flowers, so please send me pictures of what you were doing because I would love to see it. I hope you're having a great time gardening and growing. Bye-bye.